It's home of the Mallow Cup, Clark Bar, and so much more. This morning, we take a tour of the Boyer Candy Company, located right in Altoona. Our Morgan Coziar gives us an inside look at how their popular candy is made. In between the hustle and bustle of downtown Altoona lies an iconic candy factory. Better yet, known as the home of the Mallow Cup. Originally started during the Depression, actually, two brothers, Bill and Bob Boyer, uh, started selling candy door to door in order to help support their family. The groundbreaking with the Boyer brothers there in black and Anthony white. Anthony Forgione is the president and CEO of the Boyer Candy Company. My family is originally from Queens, New York. Uh, they purchased uh, Boyer in 1984. We, we moved down here. I was I think eight years old with my brother who's in the factory and uh, we grew up playing hide and go seek, um, running all over this place. Now he's following in his father's footsteps. When my father passed in 2001, it was my time to uh, <laughs> step up to the plate. So uh, I've been running it since then and uh, it's been great, it really has been playing a role in creating one of the most famous candies in Central PA. It's been in continuous production since the 20s and to this day we are downstairs. We make approximately 250,000 Mallow Cups a day. Seems like a lot, it's not. We only run one shift a day. It's a private family owned company. We don't run it for maximum profitability. We run it to make good candy and see people enjoy it. And people certainly do. For many, the Mallow Cup is nostalgic. I would say that it is classic and it does exactly what you want candy to do. Candy is not a snack, it's not for nutrition. It is literally a five minute break from your day where you pick it up, you remember a point in your life and it brings a smile to your face. So how exactly are they made? Then the first step, a paper cup is dropped into a moving conveyor belt that has little openings in it. That paper cup proceeds down the line where it gets a shot of chocolate that's sprayed into the bottom of the cup. Uh, the cup then moves down and a puff of air is blown into the chocolate. And what that does is it actually blows the sides of the, it blows the chocolate up the sides of the cup. Then it proceeds down, it gets a healthy portion of marshmallow, difficult to work with, so you'll see the line start shaking at that point, and what that is, is the marshmallow needs to settle down, and it smooths out. Uh, the cup then proceeds down, gets another shot of chocolate, and then we have kind of a throwback to 30s and 40s. Uh, we have two inspectors at the end of the line with spatulas, and they are there, and they will literally just tap anything where they see marshmallow is sticking out of the top. It's not cost effective, it's historical, and that's, that's why they're there, that's why they do what they do. It then goes through its cooling tunnel, uh, and then it goes to wrapping. Everything from the recipe, production, and packaging has stayed the same for all these years, which must be why the people of Central PA just can't seem to get enough. When people for whatever reason leave this wonderful state, they, they take their love affair of the Mallow Cup with them. And uh, we have people all day answering the phones from all over the country asking where they can get the product. But the truth is there's a reason why Boyer has called Altoona home for all these years. This company would not exist outside of this area. The, the, the dedication, that uh, my predecessors showed to this area and this area showed to the company is really what's helped it continue to stay, continue to thrive while others might not have. Um, so, you know, people ask us all the time, you know, would you move here, would you move there? It doesn't exist. Boyer and the Mallow Cup doesn't exist outside of the Altoona area, outside of the Pennsylvania area, and that's why we would never go anywhere. And you know, while I was there, I just had to try one for myself. Hot off the press, delicious. As good as they are, fresh off the line, they're incredible. Mm -hmm. Looks delicious. Coming up right after the break was...